Good evening, and welcome to e-commerce news by Managed by Stats, bringing you Amazon and e-commerce news that you need to hear when you need to hear it. With your host, Justin Coleman, and your co-host, Jade Coleman. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to Managed by Stats e-commerce news. I'm Justin Coleman. And I'm Jade Coleman. In our first story, we've got some important dates for you to remember. If you wanted to get your inventory in for Black Friday, I'm afraid you've missed the boat on that. It had to be in by November 6th. If you want your inventory there for Christmas, it needs to be in by the 1st of December. And if you want your inventory there for the first of the year, you cannot send it in until after the 17th of December. Amazon Sweden had an interesting launch in more ways than one. The first faux pas, Amazon flew the Argentinian flag on the Swedish site. If that wasn't exciting enough, there were a copious number of mistranslated listings, most of them lewd in nature. Amazon crushes Q3 expectations by doing over $96 billion in revenue and over $6 billion in profit. Sorry. Growing despite COVID and anticipating even more growth through the holidays, Amazon now employs over a million people after hiring 250,000 employees in the third quarter of this year. And still, our cases go unanswered. Big news from TikTok and Shopify as they team up to test new e-commerce features over the next coming months. They have shoppable ads just like YouTube, which we covered in our last news episode, and they also have shoppable hashtags. Is Amazon taking sales away from your listing? Yes! Pardon me. In addition to sponsored ads, Amazon is now displaying Amazon's choice products under your key features. We've been unable to find anything about this other than complaints on the forums, but a quick search in Amazon shows that they are indeed doing this. Uh, really? Really? Okay. In fakish news, we've just heard that the new president of the United States has been chosen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm frightened to announce to you that we have our very first cyborg president. Alexa has just completed construction of what we are being told is Abraham Lincoln 2.0 the cyborg. In a surprising change of circumstances, 100% of the popular vote has shifted over to whom we have endearingly dubbed Lincoln 2.0. Coupled with our last news story, this makes for a presidency of Lincoln 2.0, the cyborg, and Alexa, the vice president. Well, this is going to be a most interesting four years. For tonight, I bid you adieu. Yes. Good night, good day, and good luck. Did you vote for I think that I'm not sure. I mean, you know. It's a very interesting story. Keep going. I don't need to find a man that is that a type of animal? No. Is that a, is that a four legged beast? No. 100%. Yeah. Everyone. Like the, is it, is it like a feathered man? All people. That's what that means? Yes! <laughs>